Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part one of the tile pattern design tutorial in the Measure Square 8 advanced series. In this video, we will cover tile pattern design, starting with a brickwork pattern. To begin, right click on your product and select Design Tile Pattern with. This will open up the Design Tile Pattern pop up. You can see when we open up the view area that there are a few suggested patterns in the thumbnails, such as a 50% offset on the width and length of the tile. The offset is controlled by the menu above, where 1 half equals a 50% offset, 1 third will equal a 33% offset, and so on. Let's make a common brickwork pattern, a 33% brickwork offset. To do this, we will change the offset menu to 1 third. Then we will left click on the tile to highlight it red, and click the duplicate button. We can then left click and hold down to drag the corner point of the tile up towards our other tile. As we glide along, we can see the dimensions of where our second tile will be placed. As we approach the 33% location, the dimensions will go away and the cursor will snap into place. We can then let off our left mouse button and see the new previews available. We can then left click on the pattern preview that looks appropriate. If we only want this pattern to be available in this project, we can click Save to Project. Then we can name our pattern and click OK. If we need to make any changes, we can click the Back button. In case we want to save our project to our pattern library, we can click on Save to Patterns. Type in our tile pattern name and click OK. If we click on our Tile Pattern button, we can see our new pattern is populated in our roster. To apply our pattern, we can left click to drag and drop towards our room. As we move towards the room, a pop-up asking us to select our tile to be used in the pattern will show up. We can select our tile from the drop-down menu and then click OK to apply the pattern to the room. If we click on the Product and Services button, we can go back to our project item list and see that now our tile pattern is showing under the tiling menu. We can then right click on the tiling for the pattern and click View Modify to add in grout. To add grout we can click on the drop down and select the grout product. We can then select the grout width from the menu below and click Save to apply. We can see now we have the grout calculation applied to our tiled area in the project item list. In our next video, we will cover a more advanced pattern that involves free drawing a custom tile shape and rotating the tiles for a basket weave effect.